Well, welcome on back to Cusa Grande, the bad video game tournament. As a reminder, Don't Make Us Bored on Tuesday night is a variety show that Corn Dan and I put on together. In general, we invite people to submit games that they want to play on the stream, whether it's something that they love, that they've played a lot, do extremely well, or something that they don't really know that well and are just wanting to play it casually with some people to chat with. Uh, as long as we are entertained, we want to see what you're playing. So feel free to sign up. Exclamation point DMUB will give you the sign up sheet. We definitely need some people for this next week as well. So do not hesitate if you're thinking about it. Now, let's go ahead and welcome in our GM for the final game of the day. Who could it be? Tina! Be boop hacking into the mainframe. Tina Hacks comes on in. Tina, thank you for subbing and or GMing. Hello. Hey, that's me. That's me. I'm I'm the GM right oh, yeah. now. Uh, the video. Yeah, I, the video is stuttering a little bit, but yeah, it's pretty good. Good quality. <laughs> you don't need to fix the. Video, Tina. It's fine. It's it's gonna be fine. Very very static I'm video, live feed. Uh, what game do you have for us today? All right. So this one's an oldie but a baddie. Um, I'm really I'm really excited to get to introduce four more people to the the wonders of Can Do Ninja. Or the uh, MSX Can Do Ninja is yeah, that's certainly... right. You know that that revolutionary platform. I mean, it was revolutionary in some ways for its time maybe wasn't necessarily made for video games but it was a system that had some games software which could be through a certain lens considered video games was definitely produced for this system yes yeah for sure well honestly i do not want to delay too much we have all four of our players here currently streaming and i believe just about ready to go let me check with escorian real quick to see if he can play some audio and other than that we'll be good to go yeah we have uh anosep escorian jalbus and two hams and i'm a little bit upset because their discord name is three hams yeah yeah I caught that too. How it many? made me real happy. Wait, no, the other thing. That was good audio. Okay, yeah, I'm definitely ready to go. I might have to recapture one or two of the streams or all of them because MSX has weird resolution and stuff. Uh, I'm checking to see if they are ready to go, and they are. Everybody get out all of your ninja emotes. What else should they have? Uh, ninjas, birds, coconuts, ninjas, fire, ninjas. <laughs> coconuts, fire, ninjas. I guess beauty works. Okay, as soon as I see movement... In this first stage, I will start our timer. Everybody get excited. Yeah, spam those emotes. Keep them coming. And here we go. Super ninja action right here. So Can Do Ninja, this is a game that we've had before, and I remember laughing a lot. Yeah, it's real good. We did good. have it before. Hey, Corn Dan. I am here to help talk about Can Do Ninja. Yeah, yeah I can't so do this. That's true. You ready to sell me a Can Do Ninja? Yeah. Cool. Uh, how much? Um, I don't know. Whatever this cost back in the day. Cool. I'll take it. And it was it was a computer game. It was probably not cheap. People probably paid a fair amount for this. I mean, so to be fair, I was responsible for this in Kuso Four, but only because Tina gave it to me. That's true. To give to Melos. Here's here's the thing about that. Uh, Melos and I have been friends for a long time, and Melos kept on uh, talking up his game about how whatever whatever trash I managed to find, he would have no problem with. Uh, I ended up never being available at a time when Melos competed, 
And Corn Dan was very kind. And as such, uh, Corn Dan was willing to give my pick to Nellis for me. I just love that. Sometimes people have vendettas. I'm pretty sure Melos didn't love this game so much. He, Melos, you know, it's, it's funny that you should say that. He oh. didn't. <laughs> okay. In fact, the the sound of the name of this game still makes him angry. It's great. It sounds like I, a I can't have, do I have ninja. definitely gone into his chat while he was playing Celeste. And, and just typed out in all caps, you can do it, Melos, and watched him fail at Celeste. Oh no. So an important thing that just doesn't come across when you're watching this, uh, one of the, the comments that I made to the, um, the competitors is that having watched this during Kuso 4 does not prepare you for playing this game. Uh, these controls are bad in a way that's very difficult to describe. They're jerky. And then when you jump, you move at light speed. Uh, you don't really have a ton of control over where you go. Uh, your move is pretty granular. You can you can more or less end up where you want, but several of the jumps that these players are gonna end up making are more or less frame perfect, uh, or at least pixel perfect, I should say. Once they're moving, like the input has to be pretty spot on. And um, uh, yeah, we, we've had a few game overs now. Um, get used to that. Yes. Yeah, I'm not too surprised. I, when handing this out for the first time, I played it for like two and a half hours. Like this game is turbo bad, but it's also kind of endearing. Like there's something about it that makes you just want to keep playing it. Like it, it doesn't, it, it, it feels mean and not mean kind of all at the same time. Um, and I did not complete the game. I made it to level two. Oh, no. I made it to level four. Um, I still haven't beat level four. I don't know how Andy did it. He's magic. Yeah, I honestly would be surprised if we see a, like a clear of this game. Very surprised. It's like everything kills you. The jumps are weird. Uh, Escorian making some good progress. The scissors, though. Want to watch out for scissors when you're a ninja. The, the jumps That's true. are less... Are, are less weird as they are um you're very committed right it, it's ghosts and goblin style jumps once you once you hit that jump button you're going but fortunately it's always kind of the same so it's easy to get the hang of easier to get the hang of i guess And so I think everybody has made it to the ninjas section at least once. Uh, actually killing the ninjas is surprisingly difficult. Yep. Yeah. So just to confirm, uh, I'm going to go ahead and choose the prediction outcome for the last game. It was left side that gets those points. Uh, and we will start this prediction up for two minutes. So get ready to decide is somebody from the left or from the right going to take the victory here. I mean, I'm going to take the victory because this game is hilarious. Oh, yeah. So, uh, Discord chat, um, two hams has laid it out, right, that really kind of sums up. This is more funny than frustrating. We'll check in in 30 minutes to see if that's still the opinion. I have played this for longer than I should, and I think that's still my opinion. It, it's <laughs> also mine, but I found a lot of players seem to change their uh, their tune. Yeah, I can completely understand that. You know, sometimes I go through cycles where I'm like, oh, this is this is funny. And then I'm like, I hate this. And then I'm like, I love this again. Uh, and it's just the cycle of terribleness that comes with Kusoke. <laughs> but yeah, I, I've i always loved watching this game. So what do you think is the main wall that people are going to run into? Ninjas. Ninjas. Why? Yeah, the, the, so... Killing ninjas is inconsistent and also required. Um, 
<laughs> you you yep. have to manage to use your sword effectively. Okay. And the game also has to have decided that this time it's going to work for you. And you have to do that to get a diamond, and you have to get all of the diamonds to complete stage two. Have fun. Yep. I guess I lied earlier, Tina. I've gotten to stage three. No, I don't want Canada Ninja. I want Can Do Ninja. Oh my gosh. Yeah, that's a different game. <laughs> so, oh yeah, also yeah. ninjas always win ties. That's uh, not your ninja, but every other ninja. You are the worst ninja. Oh no. Oh, I want to be a better ninja. Well, I mean, you can be a better ninja by... Um, what I found generally helps is jumping straight up and then stabbing. And that, they they generally fly into it. And then you hit them before they hit you, and then you actually win. Ah, very nice. But yeah, from what I can see, this was released in Japan for 4,800 yen. Or about 48 so, dollars. Bucks. Yeah, about 50 bucks. Which I think in today's currency, that's that's at least six thousand dollars. Oh yeah. <laughs> uh, this person also developed other games. Uh, their their name is Mass Tail. Uh, made Robo Frog. That sounds fun. Super Robo. Ooh, Sasa. Telebunny. Turbo. I bet it's a turbo. Boat, it's her boat. Tetra Horror, Omac Farmer. That is not the no, no old Mac Farmer. Wow, Kung Fu Master, Pack the Fish, Angelo, Act Man, Jump. A lot of very generic sounding games. Let me tell you, a lot of MSX games are very generic sounding games. Yeah, these are all MSX. I mean, at least, at least the developer knew. Uh, what kind of game they they want to make? And they're from Hong Kong, you know. I'm I'm just thinking outside of Japan for '83 making games. I mean, this is and, and this is not the worst MSX game we've had on on Cuso Grande. Oh no, by far no. Lost in Plantinus takes that one by a long shot. I mean, yeah, that one is. Yeah. I, I feel like. Objectively, it's the worst that we'll have on Kuso Grande. <laughs> yeah? Oreb7, yeah. thank you so much for that sub. Everybody just kick back and relax. Some ninja action is going on, and I have a feeling they can do it. I, I think they can do it. A Scorian in uh, Discord chat saying, I never knew I had a fear of scissors. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I do. Oh my gosh, especially like OG scissors. They're terrifying. No, seriously, so sharp. To be fair, these are scissors roughly the side, uh, side the size of a grown man's thigh. I feel like those are very frightening scissors by any measure. Uh, yeah, if anybody came with human-sized scissors to attack me, I, I would... I mean, those are... I'd give up. Let's call them what they are, garden hedges. Or, um, like hedge trimmers. They kind of are, yeah. And if anybody attacked me with hedge trimmers, I wouldn't be a big fan either. Run away, okay? I don't need to die today. And even if I do die today, I don't want it to be to hedge trimmers. Aha! I've got a burrito! Everybody, what life kind of burrito is complete. Is it? Uh, it is a chicken burrito. It's got some green sauce. Got some sour cream and guacamole. Yeah. So I'm pretty dang excited. I will still do commentary and i'll try not to make gross noises into the microphone well I, I mean you can always step away for a while if you really need i i can just push the microphone away from my mouth it would, it would be immoral for us to keep you away from your burrito well I'm, no, I'm gonna eat and i'm gonna keep listening so feel free to keep talking if i go silent for a bit it's because of burrito eating it's because yeah it's because you've gone to flavor town i get it 
flavor town. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Regular guy Fieri here. Look, but what what would Flavor Town be in um Utah? I I mean you like is Flavor like Flavor Town in Utah would be like the worst Flavor Town. It's like We've got catch up with a little bit of paprika and bam, flavor town. Okay, okay, like here's the deal. Utah doesn't isn't exactly known for its food. Uh but some food like funeral potatoes, those are amazing. Okay. I I, I will give you that funeral potatoes are good, but I will also give you that funeral potatoes are better with a lot of hot sauce. Well, you can put hot sauce on it. I'm not saying you can't. Anyway, burrito can, can time. You even, can you even get hot sauce in Utah? Uh, there are plenty of people who make their own hot sauce here in Utah, so yes. That sounds like a uh, solid no. Look, ketchup and mayo is not a hot sauce. <laughs> okay, so... I think that this people are dumb. This has gotten to the end of stage uh, two, but Jalbus did not read the instructions when I said that your job is to run to the kill, right, kill ninjas. And kill ninjas. Oh no. <laughs> so yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and say that uh, fry sauce in Utah is way overrated. It's just ketchup and mayo with a few spices in it. Who cares? It, no, Everybody it's just can make and mayo. it. There's not, there's not even like a, a spice in it. Utah some, doesn't know what spice is. Some people like put other things into it, like a little bit of mustard, but it's just, it's dumb. Everywhere uses it. Utah's not really that special. They just don't call it fry sauce in other places. Now, Utah does have a fairly good amount of, actually, where I live. We have amazing food. We have amazing restaurants, uh, but that's because a lot of them are uh, various culture. Like for for the town our size, we have an amazing diversity of types of food. Uh, we've got one of the best Indian restaurants I've ever been to here. They're so good. So we, we have to, people are asking about funeral potatoes, bro. You're going to have to explain funeral potatoes to people. Okay. It's basically just potato casserole with Kellogg's cornflakes on top. There you go. There's funeral I'm potatoes. Sorry? Okay. You've done a very poor job of selling this. What? No, I, I so also it, think it, that it's, it's hideous. I, I, I actually like them. It, it's, oh, it's, it's a great. potato casserole like with, um, like the, the cubed um, potatoes, Tina, you'd see in like American style, like diner hash browns. Yeah, no, I'm I'm on board. Potato Lots casserole. Lots of that cheese. Yeah. Yeah, with, with, with cheese and sour cream. And um, so you kind of get this like nice creamy, like potato thing with crushed cornflakes on top, which sound like not frosted it sounds flakes, weird. Like just cornflakes. It sounds weird, but they're like super crispy and everything you could use like um like fried like breadcrumbs you'd kind of have the same sort of thing essentially it adds and, a, a texture uh to yeah. give it a little bit more variety okay it's, okay and they always they only ever seem to get served at like special events you know like funerals so they're called funeral potatoes i'm gonna be honest in general anything that i associate with a funeral is not something that, that I know. I, I, okay. But yeah, you'll see no, funeral I mean, potatoes at fine. weddings. You'll see them at celebrations. Like okay, let's let's revisit that statement just real quick. Hey, it's a wedding. Let's do the funeral stuff now. <laughs> yeah. There have but already I, I been guess, a million jokes. Hey, they're in getting Utah married. I guess that. it's time for a dirge. That's exactly yeah. We've had movies with pretty much that exact same idea uh, made here in Utah, and they're really not great movies, but yeah, everybody makes that joke. They're, it's Fair a enough. potato casserole. We call them funeral potatoes. You eat them at anything. <laughs> and they're really good. Yeah, they're good, because it's so, a potato the, casserole. The, the lethargic scientist, it's not really scallop potatoes. It's kind of the same. The potatoes are cut differently. Right, they're cubed instead of sliced. Well, and that some of them are. Some of them are sliced. It depends on the casserole. Depends Look, on the funeral. We're, we're, yeah, I was gonna say we're talking funeral potatoes here, not like other types of potato casserole. 
So Escorian on his last life might be all that he's got to do is pick up this this diamond. And hey, we're going to get to see stage three now, which is very worse. nice. Yeah. So now now it's like stage one, except uh, keys. somebody shooting bows and arrows and also keys. <laughs> and that was stage three. <laughs> I love this. I, I do love that Escorion is, like, developing a strat to reliably kill the ninjas. It's a lot of work to get good at it, but you kind of have to. The, I mean, the strat I've found that works is literally, as soon as you land on that platform, jump straight up and mash the attack button as fast as possible. And they'll <laughs> come jumping at you, and your knife will come down and hit them in the head. Oh, I like and that. And then you win. <laughs> Anosep at the top left is sort of jumping and slashing, probably just practicing controls oh, yeah. a little bit. The the jump slash is really fiddly. Which is why Horn Dan jumped and started mashing the attack button. Aha. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You you can't just like hit it once and hope to God you've timed it right. You've gotta hit that that you know thing like five hundred times. I mean Hoping to God is pretty much my entire strat for this game. That's probably why I haven't beat it yet. Well, yes. The the cool thing about this game, though, is that, you know, you don't have to consistently be amazing at all of it. Uh, simply put, you just need one good run. And, you know, you it's never... It's not a long game. you got to try over and over and over and, uh, you know, just learn a little bit each time. Simply put, there's enough randomness and chaos that you are going to die and it's not really going to be your fault. So you just need to figure out how to give yourself as many attempts as possible to get through some of this. And second, learn how to kill ninjas. If you can do those two things, then you have a good chance of being towards the front of the pack. And then, and then you have to remember that after you kill the ninja, to not just turn around and walk off the platform. <laughs> Ask me how I know. Yeah, I've done that one too. I, I mean, I, I may have just done it. Because I'm, I'm going to sit here and play this too. Because I enjoy it. Oh, perfect, Gordon. I love it. Oh my gosh, it's... Yeah, this game, we're going to see a lot of blue backgrounds. We'll see green on occasion. Whenever you see green, it's good. Green is good. That means they made progress. Try to think. Uh, so, Tina, how did you originally find this game? Do you remember... All right, so I made a really bad decision and I purchased an MSX2, right? <laughs> and then um, I started just going through the library of MSX software um, because that seems like the sort of thing that a well-adjusted individual would definitely do. I and mean, this is yeah, I one, would. Of, one of the games that I came across. And then I, I took out a, uh, a, a piece of paper that I had been using. I'd been writing down titles of games for various reasons. Um, uh, at the top of it at the time was labeled uh, Cusa Grande 4. And Ooh. then I wrote it down on that piece of paper. Okay. And, and then about five minutes later, she messaged me and said, hey, play this garbage. Yeah, I did that too. Yes, that's correct. And then Corn Dan played it. Uh huh. And, and then we made Faizu play it. Correct. <laughs> I love it. I love it so much. Oh, everybody just spreading the pain all around, making each other play. The the thing is, like, GMs actually put a lot of work into discovering games and uh, sharing them with each other. We usually have multiple people play through a significant amount of the game in order to see if it's appropriate for the tournament. And, yeah, let, there are some weird games out there, let me tell you. Like this, I'll have you know this is not that, that my, weird. 
my, my current update is I only need to go get five more keys. I believe in you. You got this. Also, I, I don't. you're winning this I just race. Got, I am winning this race. I, 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 got, I got speared in the butt by an arrow. Uh, yeah, that'll happen. <laughs> and then I took an arrow to the knee, and that's game over. I can't be an adventurer anymore. I just love the music in this. It's so good. Don't, 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 Such as it is, yes. So low key. I mean, the like four notes you get, yeah. Like, if I had background music in my life like this, I might not even notice for a little while. Just walk around. By the way, this burrito is really good. Burrito and can do ninja, it's like a perfect Saturday. But I mean for you, any any Saturday with a burrito is the best Saturday. Yeah, yeah, exactly. That's all I need. Like seriously, if there were any kind of food that I could just eat for the rest of my life, it'd probably be a burrito. Then again, I have a lot of foods like that. I just like food. <laughs> We're aware. My gosh. Wow. Gardner. When I talk to you like multiple times a week, I know how much you like food. Then again, I think everybody likes food, right? Like, if you don't like food, that's a little unfortunate. But I love... I don't know, burritos are just the best, and every once in a while I talk to somebody who's like, I've never had a burrito in my life, and I'm like, you don't... What happened to your life? How? How have you never had a burrito? Well, I mean, if you live in, like, the most white area of, like, Iowa or something, you might not have a burrito, or, or Nebraska. <laughs> I've I've been, to, I've been to places in the United States where ketchup was described as spicy, so... I can imagine those people having not had burritos. I, uh, I don't like that. I don't like that. Actually, uh, I think there are quite a few British people I've talked to who haven't had burritos, and they just need burritos there, okay? That will help solve so many problems. But yeah, ketchup is not spicy, okay? I mean, you can make spicy ketchup. But yeah, but you know, just you know, I, I had I had fries with some Heinz, and whew, I need a, a glass of liquid skeleton now to to cut some of that heat. <laughs> I mean, that that just sounds like an excuse to drink. No, Jileo in chat is feeling called out. Oh, I know you, Jileo. <laughs> and yeah, you've been called out. Uh, no, seriously, spice is good. Uh, except that the bad thing is, like, because I started having acid reflux and stuff, I can't eat as, as much spice these days. And, yeah, that's been... Then you know what you so need sad. is... You need chili crisp. Yes. What? You need chili crisp. Chili crisp is a wonderful thing that should be part of everybody's life. What is that? What does it do? All right, so you know what chilies are, right? Yes. What if they were crispy? Okay. Does that help the stomach? It helps your well, soul. They're not like the, the, the spice. They're not like the super spicy chilies. Oh, okay. I'm, I'm, that, that's so, fine. So, so I like if... spice, but it doesn't have to be super spice. I like the flavor of chilies on their own. Oh, uh, without uh, all so, the heat. So what if you took some sort of spicy chilies and and fried them mm. and, and, and basically turn them into chili bits? <laughs> right? And then, you know, turn that into a sauce. See, you're speaking We're, my language here. 
honestly, I'm 100% down with that idea. I would love to try that. Uh, and, and yeah, you, you, you get the you get the glass jar with someone's grandma on it. Yep. And, and you're in for a good time. And it's just spicy enough that you can have it with like everything you eat and not spicy enough to cause you problems afterwards. Oh, that sounds amazing. Honestly, I love that idea. And Lizstar, welcome on in all you raiders. Come and enjoy uh, kicking back for some can do ninja with only the most happening of beats. Uh, yeah. <sighs> I'm trying to think. One of my favorite pepper-related things, though, has to be jalapeno jelly. It's so good. I picked some up today, in fact. Because it's got sweet and spicy and... Oh my gosh, I, I just want it. I just want it. Uh, Justin, thank you for subbing. I, I, I'm, I'm oh, actually... Oh, hey, we had that update that, that I was mentioning would come in 30 minutes. It came in 20 instead. Um, now... <laughs> I hate these everything. <laughs> yes. Yeah, uh, all of the players pretty much hate this game. Uh, Jalba says, this is making me feel like such an idiot. Uh, Two Ham said, well, I know where I'll be for the next 20 minutes. Escorian says, I hate these platforms. Two Ham said, I hate these everything. <laughs> yeah, like this is... I'd say out of all the games that we've had today, this probably is objectively the worst of them. Uh, no, no, I, I definitely think Maui, Mallor, Maui Mallard is definitely worse. I, look, I would like normally... Objectively. <sighs> I mean, at least you can see where you're supposed to go in this game. That's true. Oh my gosh, it's tough competition. Maui Mallard yeah, I didn't, for Game Boy is so... I didn't Boy test play Maui so... Mallard, but... Oh yeah, by the way, the ninjas respawn if you don't pick up the uh, the diamond in time. Oh, of course so they that's do. Fun. I like that but, yeah. apples having randomly not, appear to kill you. Oh yeah, those those are coconuts. They're hard and they hurt your head. Are you sure they're coconuts? Yeah. It makes more sense than apples, yeah. Oh, well, okay. Maybe you were like Isaac Newton. Uh, wait, Lizstar, you gave Maui Mallard 6 out of 10. Is that for Genesis? Because if it is, go try the Game Boy version and you will be sad. <laughs> the Game Boy version's real sad. Yeah, it looked real rough. <laughs> okay, at this point, we're about halfway through the match. We've only seen the second stage once, or is it stage three? Third. I don't... It, we, we saw the third stage once. The second stage is ninjas. But it's the same... Whatever. Whatever. Don't, don't worry about it, Resentia. You are not able to go back to the first stage. Er, ergo, it is the second stage. Walls appear all the time in video games. Does that mean every time a wall appears, you're in a new level for video Correct. game? Oh. Yeah, that's, well, that's video game law. Okay, I just didn't know. I didn't know the laws that all y'all are creating about video games and what makes a level a level. Oh. Well, 30 minutes left. Uh, thankfully, uh, Horn Dan's bot is pretty good at reminding the players how much time they have. Uh, what do you think, like, is there any strategy you think that would help you learn how to play this game? No, this one I think is just time. Just the more you play, the better you're gonna get? Yeah, I yeah. mean, it's mostly, especially on what? stages two and four, it's deterministic. Sorry, I saw Anisep jump to the left and die for no good reason. Uh, I didn't I didn't catch what happened. So, um, I don't know. I don't well, know. could be a couple of reasons. I didn't see it. Could be um, if you just fall off a platform, right? Like, like if you're just not on a platform. Yeah, that'll kill uh, you. That'll kill you. Like, even if you go, well, I should have been able to land on the, like, one below it. You'll still uh, die. It doesn't matter. Okay. You'll still die. Yeah, you have very fragile legs. Um, 
like if you contact like the the moving log platforms anywhere that's not the top even if it's just one pixel that's death i think that's what happened that is so dumb right coconuts We're, are death yeah You're, yes you know, but we are about to get stage three again and we have extra lives this time uh, hey peace also the wall will kill <laughs> why you. does the wall <laughs> kill you no because ninjas only go forward never back <laughs> Hey, a scorpion collected one key. That's so that's a that PB. is definitely progress from what we saw before. A lot of progress, no. Oh, that arrow in the butt, you know. That yeah, would put Yeah. It, Turns out, you know, gives most people game getting, over. Getting like pointy things in the butt. Yeah, um not 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 good. No, Perforation's I, bad for health. Perforation um, also, you know, I guess if you get narrow to the knee, you can't be a ninja anymore either. Can you get like a shield for your butt, you know, so people can't shoot your butt? No. Look, by this point in time, the anal bum cover hadn't been invented yet. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, maybe one day. Well, Sean Connery couldn't do it. I feel like chain link for your butt would probably be sufficient. Like that. Hey, Jalbus is on the key stage as well. He uh, has collected one key uh, working on the second. If he can get this key, that is second and or first place. And that is a lead change for Jalbus. Very nice. That came out of nowhere. Well, it's like you said, you only need one really good run. Yes, you only need one really good run to win. Uh, There's some other games that you can make gradual, slow progress. This is one of those games where you just need to make erratic, fast progress. So, Jalbus, yeah, good job. Yeah, the loop in this game is very, very short. Um, there's no such thing as a player being out of it for this game. Uh, if if a player has like three minutes left and they make a really strong push, they could hit first place. Yeah, games like that actually really excite me when uh, it's not over until it's over. And even with some of the games that appear that there's no way to catch up, we've seen people catch up in this. There's always a way. Oh my gosh. I, I'm i really enjoying the music, though. I, I forgot about the music in this game. And I know I've said it before, but it needs repeating. Everything needs a baseline like this. Most things need more than just a baseline, but baseline is a good place to start. Hey, Escorian, back to stage three again. Yeah, Escorian is getting a lot better at making some steady progress here. And honestly, the more reliable you can get at certain stages, the more likely you're going to make it to the later ones and get some progress there. Considering how random the arrows are right now, get as reliable as you can on the early parts. Jalbus is still in the lead, though. Jalbus got more keys than Escorian. Escorian in second right now. Two hands in Anasep. I'm not completely sure who's in the lead there, but I think we will see the third stage on both of their screens at some point. At least I hope so. I hope so, Tina. Hope so too. Like I, I think that this is a game that you really need to experience the later levels to understand just how good the game is. <laughs> oh no, Escorian talked about World Two and Two Hams just put in Discord World What? Yeah, 
Uh, you're really not that far out of it, though, two hams. Like, the levels go so fast. Just gotta kill some ninjas, not get a d d dagger to the face. Those hurt. Do 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 do. Oh my gosh. This is this is still definitely a, not close to the worst games that we've had on Kusagrani in the past. Like this is something that I probably would have played as a kid, played it for like five to ten minutes, and then come back like maybe a month or two later and played it a little bit more, you know. It's it's bad, but it still is a level of playable that could be uh, enjoyable, I'd say. Yeah, this is a game that's really deceptive in how it just sort of sucks you in and keeps you playing. I think that that's one of the worst parts of it, honestly. <laughs> that you want to keep playing it? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I love it. Well, I mean, it's like a lot of modern games that you think, just one more try, just one more. And then bam, suddenly you've been a ninja for a whole week straight. Your family is like, we're worried about you. We don't even yeah, understand you're what you're saying anymore. Point. And you hide, you hide in the closet wearing nothing but black. Family comes in, you throw stars at them. Yeah. That they, might be related dead. to why they're worried about you though. Well, they die, so yeah, I would be worried too. Simply put, watch out. You don't need to be a ninja, okay? Don't do, can do ninja stuff, okay? Just be normal ninja. Have to go to ninja intervention. The worst kind of intervention. You sit there, suddenly, person running the meeting just shows up and kicks you in the face, and they're like, ninja Yeah. Ooh, ninjavention is definitely a word that I will never say again. <laughs> what word was that? N no. Tina, don't trick me like that. I almost said it. I will not. I will never say that word again. Do, 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 do. So why did you go buy an M MSX? How about I ask that question? Um, yeah, that's a good question. You have an answer? No. No, I don't. That's it, what makes it such a good question. Was it, like, peer pressure? Do you have any I mean, peers? Do you have no. any pressure? I, I, I thought that I did, but now I'm now I'm questioning a lot of things, Prasintia. Um, No, it, it just... I, I do enjoy, really, the, the more obscure, like, entries in the history of computing as something that people do at home. And the MSX, at least in the West, is not a system that a ton of people have a lot of experience with. So I wanted to dig into the library. Good, yeah, I definitely did not have much experience with it until you showed up. And like, I know Cabbage Patch Kids. I love Cabbage Patch Kids for the MSX. That game, that game was... It was, it was a good entry for Cusa Grande, but it's also legitimately a, a very fun game. It's so up until, fun. Up until the ninth loop. Uh, no, that's still fun. It's just death. It's just literally impossible, yeah. Oh, come on. It can't literally be impossible. So I don't... I don't think that Blue MSX... I don't think that my emulator uh, I, supports frame-by-frame frame play. I would like to prove that it's impossible, but to be fair, all that I can prove is that I'm very bad at video games. Oh, I'm a speedrunner, and I'm so bad at video games. Hey, Anosep yeah, is on to the green stage and is not getting any of the keys. Oh, that's probably not going to work out great for I him. I mean, it still is worth seeing what 
lies in store, I think, you know? Not the worst True. idea, but... Especially Unfortunately, since... unbeknownst to, to Anosep, this is still only third place, I think. Yes. But that, so we that's really, one we of the tricky things. we need to see at least two keys. Oh, there we go. One key. That is good. Still third, but could be second soon. No! Arrow to the face! Oh, oh that's, that's the worst place. Worst place to get an arrow is the face. Or is it? Actually, the throat might be worse. I wouldn't want an arrow to the throat. Do are we being forced to to agree upon a place where an arrow should should intersect our body? Like, if I had a choice, I'd probably just opt out. I'd. Well, yeah, okay. Uh, but if yeah, if you have a choice between get shot by an arrow and don't, don't is usually a good option. Uh, but if you don't have that choice, I might say like shoulder. I'm used to shoulder pain, you know? Okay, I mean, yeah, I guess if I had to choose where on my body I got shot by an arrow, yeah, the shoulder seems like a reasonable, um, least evil sort of option. Yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah. I'm this go is a weird conversation, bro. I, what are we? Look, we're watching Can Do Ninja. I've got nothing else to talk about. Okay, I don't even yeah, know what this game is anymore. Ah, look. well, you're a ninja with a very positive attitude. That's the game. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Look, look. You both are thinking about it wrong. You should get shot in the pinky toe because nobody cares about the pinky toe anymore. Oh shoot. Oh, that's smart. Okay, you're you're using brains, but. What if you lose your pinky toe? I might be a little bit worried about that. Like I mean, that's better it. than losing your shoulder. You don't lose your shoulder, Corn Dan. How do you lose a shoulder? What if they shoulder? have to amputate your shoulder? Think about think about how much think about how much difficulty you'll have using your arm once they've amputated your shoulder. I don't think they do that. I'm I'm pretty sure they don't just take out your shoulder and like staple you your arm back to did your you, body. Did you go to doctor high school? No, my mom's a nurse, though. Okay, so I can go ahead and ask her. Hey, mom, you if somebody shoots me in the shoulder, will they amputate it and leave my arm? So I'll tell you. I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what'll happen because we already know. Because, right? She's made comments about Cuso Grande. You're gonna ask her this, and she's gonna look at you and say this is boring. Actually, I think she'd be fascinated with the sort of. I feel like the premise of the question would, would at least experiment. get a little bit of, yeah. It's definitely better than Alfred and the Fetic, okay? And, like, so I, I think, especially as a nurse, like, it's related to what she's been doing her entire life. She'd probably be like, okay, let me explain, son of mine, why you are a moron, and then go into <laughs> it. Oh, I like the title screen music. That's good stuff. Yeah, unfortunately, we don't get to hear that so much. And instead we get... It's been a really fun match, though. Like, what's going to happen? I really don't know. Uh, seriously, there could be a comeback at any given point. Three out of the four yeah. players have made it to the green screen, which is good. Uh, that is the third level. Uh, they just need to collect enough keys, aka all of them, uh, in order to make it to the fourth level, I believe, with more ninjas. Correct. Those ninjas have guns. No! Why would a ninja have a gun? I feel like that's against I mean, the ninja code. Historically speaking, that was fairly accurate. They had guns? Yes. You're right. Uh, yeah, no, that wasn't a joke. I'm not doing a bit there. That one's for real. Yeah, basically, I mean, to be fair, that makes a lot of sense because uh, ninjas are just basically one trying to be sneaky and two if they get caught trying to get away and cause as much chaos as possible uh and guns are a really good way of doing that 
true. Yeah, uh, explosives apparently were so, like, mm -hmm. oh, I kind of like it. Like, can you just imagine you get caught and suddenly you're like, dynamite! <laughs> so here's the thing. Ninjas, like real ninjas, are, are both like more boring and more amazing than like what we think ninjas are. More boring and more amazing. Well, yeah, because like a ninja is not going to go. Yeah, yeah. Like a, a ninja is not going to go out wearing all black and all that. Like, oh, hey, look, they're doing this. No, they're not going to do that. They're going to go dressed up like normal people, because that's the best way to blend in. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, Historically, that's if they, you're going out were, during the day. Were yeah. Largely performing espionage. I want to be a ninja now. Oh my gosh, I would make such a good spy. Can you imagine? You would make like the worst so, spy. Hey, I am. Hey, car factory people. I'm here to do an inspection. Totally not a ninja. Hey, why? Why is that guy drowning puppies in, in our wash basin? I literally would wait until I got home. <laughs> okay. To drown I don't, the puppies. Yeah, I don't <laughs> need to drown puppies everywhere I go. I'm patient. Are you? I've seen I've seen you do Wolf Quest speedruns. I'm not sure that that's true. <laughs> Tina, how many of them have I done? Like hundreds. Okay. Why? Because sometimes the game will just randomly progress and sometimes it randomly won't. And so you have to be patient, okay? That's part of being a wolf. Oh, be I patient. See. Yeah. Be patient and also drown all but one of your offspring. Yeah. yeah. Okay. That part's very important. You know, the unfortunate thing is that in the new Wolf Quest, it doesn't appear you can drown your puppies. I wonder what? why. I literally think it's because of me. I really do, and it's very sad. Uh, Escorian <laughs> is currently on level two. Yeah, we, we need to watch and see what he is able to do. Oh, got a key. Good, good dodge. Yep, Jalbus also on level three. Now, one important thing, Okami is saying this game is fun. Uh, games it can fun. be bad and fun. And oftentimes for round, the, the early rounds, that's often what we end up finding for games for people to play. Uh, Jalbus, by the way, grabbing a key, grabbing key number two there. That is huge. Yep, the high watermark right now is four. Oh, who got four? Escorian, I think. Escorian did, yeah. I don't know. Yeah, Okami, uh, look, okay, Okami has some bad opinions, but also some very correct opinions occasionally. Oh, I don't, I don't know. I trust, I trust Okami's opinion on this because I also have that opinion. Confirmation bias. I know. I know. I know that is generally not what you want to do, but this is Okami we're talking about. We got to be biased as, as biased as possible. Oh, we're getting word in Discord that Two Hams has had RetroArch crash and is being restarted. I know. It happens. So in enjoy a pink screen, friends. I'm going to say maybe enjoy... Uh, having to recapture all of this. I can handle that if needed. That's a very... I think it'll be fine. That's not the pinkest pink I've ever seen. That's definitely more ham-colored, though. Like, the, the pinkest pink comes from... Oh, um, one of the artists that, that's pissed off at the guy. Ah, uh, yeah, that did the Kapoor. blackest black, yeah. Yeah. Somebody made a new pink. They made, in fact, the pinkest pink. At this point, I don't pink. think it's new. Yeah, but yes, it is It is the pinkest pink pigment. Um, and it is available to be used by everybody except the person Anash who Kapoor. produced the, <laughs> yeah, the blackest black pigment uh, who requires a absor uh, an absurd licensing fee to be able to use it. Yeah, Vanta, Vanta Black is great. Um, it's... Um, but How do you license a color? It's it's a pigment, right? So it's a pigment that was designed to absorb like everything, and um, 
where it really has uses things in like scientific equipment and stuff like that. And Ash Kapoor, who is an artist, um, probably <laughs> most famously known Sorry. for yeah, the going. Bean in Chicago. That's that's how a lot of people recognize him. That's not black at all. Was he responsible for that? Did he make he black beans? He was responsible beans? for that. No. Because I love but black beans. He licensed Vanta Black for art and then isn't letting anybody else use it. So... That's... Uh, uh, like, come on, art world. Uh, yep. Yeah, the so, thing, like, we talk all about collaboration, and I think about 99% of the art world is all for collaboration and helping other people uh, get products. But then there's one bag of beans shows up. Yep. Makes I see what you did there. That was very clever. Yeah, make Chicago bean. Doesn't even like black beans. Make big black uh, uh, crap. So, anyway... Uh, a, a British artist who is known for doing interesting, like, pigments and stuff. Yeah. Um, right? To piss off Anash Kapoor. Um, made the, the, the world's pinkest pink. And when you... Sells it basically at cost. It is, right, not expensive to go get. Yeah. Um, I've actually thought about buying some myself just because. And... You know, because you can get, like, a lot of it for, like, 20 bucks. Jaldus um, is back to the second level as well, just trying to make sure people see when there's a possibility of progress here. Uh, yeah, you can buy it for relatively cheap. Like, how and, much and so it, when though? you go to buy... A fair Excuse me. A fair amount. Okay. Like, you can make a, a, a good amount of paint uh, of actual paint with it. Um, and... You have to certify, right, as part of the ordering process that you are not a Nash Kapoor. You will not be a Nash Kapoor. You won't provide it to a Nash Kapoor, and you've never had any association with a Nash Kapoor. Oh my gosh. Bit... I love that. Oh geez, if you're associated with him at all, you can't buy it? Well, so apparently, somebody went through, like, legitimately, and... Uh, one of his associates bought him some of this just so he could be like, ah, I have it. <laughs> um, but like, if you're into art and stuff, like legitimately go check this stuff out. It's, um, yeah, it, it's fascinating. And honestly, every community has its own little infighting, you know, it, it happens. That part is uh, a little bit ridiculous. Uh, and honestly, I think it's very easy for outsiders to see who is in the right here. So, um, yeah, you can get 50 grams of the world's pinkest pink for six bucks. But the guy also makes some of the, the, the coolest glow in the dark pigments and stuff like that. And, and none of it's really expensive. It's culture hustle. Oh, cool. Um, it's awesome. Oh, yeah. Jalbus is having to deal with something that I didn't expect to be a problem. Uh, and it's that when you are climbing your rope, your sprite is positioned differently than when you land on the ground. So you yes. could dodge the coconuts, yeah. but if you land on the ground, your sprite get shifts hit. enough that you will get hit. Only five minutes left. Escorian made it back to level or world to level three. Anasep is there as well, but unfortunately just died via arrow. Oh my gosh. There's like no odds. Oh, the homing arrow is the worst. I hate it. What I found works as a strategy with that, right? As long as you take your time, um, you can usually avoid the homing arrow. I would say good for Anasep for collecting a key. It's not going to be enough to move out of uh, out of third place at this point. Two hams. I love that two hams is still going, but has definitely struggled to make any progress past this stage.
Uh, people are saying that it's a problem if a coconut, I think they're gems in the second level, but whatever it is spawns on the rope. The thing is, you can sort of plan for that. Uh, well, and I'm thinking sometimes, like Alpiner strats. Uh, you know, you wait for it to spawn somewhere else, and then when it spawns, hope you, you have to wait for the stars to align in order to do it. But, uh, you know, work on getting those stars to align. There are ways that you can manipulate it a little bit. Hey, yeah, just align two the stars. It's did that easy. make it to stage three. Apparently. I missed it. Yes, I think everybody has seen the green screen at this point. Oh, arrow. Okay, Jalbus is on the green screen. We'll have right. to see. Jalbus needs four more keys with one life to make this one uh, worthwhile, though. Oh, shooting an arrow. Brave strats there. Yeah. No! The gem just fell on Jalbus's head, and that is that's a so, death. That's so unfortunate. There's still enough time, though. Yes. I love how fast this, this game is, moves. This is a last push, but this is, like I said, this is a game where legitimately one good push can make this happen. Yep. You don't expect miracles, but if they happen, heck yeah. Especially with this music. This music is a miracle. Oh no, Jalbus, the wood touched your butt. But yeah, like, uh, figuring out how to manipulate or bait out some of the RNG, some of the randomness in games, uh, is really a skill that they don't emphasize at all in current games and modern games, but it happened a lot with older games that you just had to learn how to deal with the randomness and make it work in your favor. In fact, there are a lot of games that like try to take out as much randomness as possible now, which is valid. It's fair. I think, it's, you know- It's a different way of- um... Approaching of, uh, engaging, time. yeah, of engaging with the game at that point. Yeah, and a step back to the green screen, Vernus. Okay, I mean, we we want to see uh, this could three be a keys change. collected no! over well over one life left now. Yeah, I don't think it's gonna. Oh <laughs> nope, it's not gonna happen well, that's, like that's that. That's not gonna help. Nope. Concussions, definitely not a ninja's favorite thing in the world. So given everybody's positions, I think that we are unlikely in the last 30 seconds to see a lead change. I believe I agree. If anybody had any chance, it would be Jalbus, but be Jalbus. this is the last life. Yeah, yeah. unfortunately, Jalbus um, really, really just pushed through the first stage, but the, the ninja section has been a formidable foe this time around. Bam. Well, I mean, it's a ninja fighting a ninja, you know? Two professionals, two professionals fighting to the death. Yeah, you would think that the attitude would make up the difference, but in this case, it didn't. <laughs> Not at all. Well, everybody breathe a sigh of relief because ninjas are no longer after us. That is time. So walk me through it a little bit. What do the places look like? Well, I'm pretty uh, sure that we've got a Scorian in first. Um, I'm fuzzy on second and third right now. I, I think it, think it was... was... If you have an idea, of, yeah, that's what I was thinking. Well, and then Anosep and then two hands. <laughs> Galvis already saying, safe to say, I'm never playing this again. Yeah, and Escorian is a little bit shocked. Let me bring them into chat. Hello there, Escorian. Hello, holy crap. <laughs> Hello, holy crap. Okay, those are two words that absolutely make sense in that order. Uh, okay, go ahead and take a breath. 
because congratulations, you definitely took the victory here collecting four of the keys. Galbus managed to get three, Aspion had two, and two hams eventually also got two keys. So it was really that key section there that was the wall for everybody. That key section was such chaos. It was hard to keep an eye on anything. Yeah, it's pretty rough, right? Yeah. Yeah, so talk, I will say, talk me through it a little bit. Oh, corn dad. I will say it was interesting to see your progression of I love this to I hate this to I love this again. It, it was over, over the course of the hour. I won't deny, I actually had fun with it. It's just, it likes to eat your jump inputs. Uh, it does yeah. at times, yeah. Also, you know, walking slightly off the edge and you're dead. <laughs> well, yeah, you're gonna you're gonna trip and stumble and then you'll fall to your death. That's just how that's that's how the world works. <laughs> yeah, seriously, this was a lot of fun to watch. I haven't played this personally, but I kind of want to. It seems like one of those games that because. It's so short in getting into it, as well as you don't live very long. It's one of those that you could easily do over and over and over and over and over again. You know, I just had my four year anniversary. I also haven't used my two year or three year uh, anniversary uh, game maybe, fix yet. Maybe we can do some mm, of those need, later this week. We need to play oh. maybe this game for an hour. That would be fun for me. I think I would enjoy would it. Be. Yeah, so, <laughs> so yeah, it's, was there anything that you learned that helped you make more progress in the game? The speed jumps. Aha! Uh -huh. And yes. also knowing that the ninjas respawn. Yeah, that part is a yeah, little... Yeah, that's a real one to find out. A little important. Yeah, definitely rough to do. Uh, there is a sort of safe ninja kill, though. Yeah, I, I learned that just by ducking the only... That was really the only way they couldn't kill me. No, if you if you literally, as soon as you hit the platform, you jump straight up, not up and to the right, just straight up, and smash the attack button, you'll kill him every time. I killed him with the duck, so I'm... Uh, yeah. The ducking what worked for me, that's... <laughs> you do, honestly, yeah, it worked for me, so I don't regret it. <laughs> <laughs> well, good. Good. Honestly, I really enjoyed... Uh, watching this you did extremely well i feel like all of the players did well for this game and honestly all it takes is one super good push to take the victory it could have been anyone uh it, it was really that close. Was super close yeah so i think that's pretty much all i have except quick question for you escorian do you stream anything else over at your channel uh, yeah, I've been playing a lot of Final Fantasy fourteen and... Ooh. Okay. I stream I'm not yet. sure if that was meant to be a good or a bad. Ugh. It's a good one. <laughs> I I also stream um, just a lot of uh, random stuff. I've actually really started getting into the free enterprise scene. Okay. Yeah, I've seen some people jumping into that recently who... Honestly, you know, I've been friends with them for a long time and uh, they've never done the speed runs and suddenly here they are doing it. Give it a try if you guys, if you've ne even if you've never played Final Fantasy 4, you could still get it to free enterprise. It's really fun. Oh yeah, for sure. Okay, I'll keep that in mind. Now, everybody, we do have more Cusa Grande tomorrow at the same time, 2 p.m. Eastern. Please hop on by. Uh, to have some more fun. Five hours of woo, whatever, whatever we've got. <laughs> also, don't forget, Tuesday, don't make us bored. We would love to please see some... Up. Yes, please, we need people. Because otherwise, I'll have to play a game. No, he'll make me play it, let's be honest. Yeah. Okay, you're, you're supposed to be selling people on signing up. What you've just done <gasps> is provided an no. incentive for people not to sign up because that would be hilarious. Here, here. Wait, you, you know what? No, if you tonight... don't sign up, it's just going to be more journey to the center of the earth. No, I'll play something. I won't let Corn Dan play that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, uh, so don't forget, tonight time changes because why not, you know? Uh, so it will be, for those of you in Europe, it will be an hour earlier than you expect. 
Okay, wink, wink, nudge, nudge, just show up a little early, and yeah, we'll, we'll have fun. Now, we're going to go ahead and raid. This is one of my old school friends doing, he's a, he's a furry dude here, uh, and he's playing Dark Souls, and simply put, it's always fun to watch a little Dark Souls, as well as all the pain that comes here. So let's raid. Do we have a good raid message? Probably something um, Daffy Duck, right? I feel like Daffy Duck got a lot of well. There were there were feelings. no there we ones go. in there. Feelings. It it got it got feelings. So. Oh wait wait yeah. wait! What, the fire. I opened. He what what happened? The fire. What's the quote about the fire? What did he do to the fire? I opened to fire. Was that it? Chat, please, chat. You need to help. Chat, 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 chat. Chat, you need to help. Oh my gosh, nobody remembers. I, I don't know. Yeah, I, I, I'm not sure. I mean, you just said he opened to fire, so that, that very, if nothing else, it's a Brasentia quote now. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, I do need to get the prediction so that people can get their payout as well. The right side won this time. Okay. Bam. Choose outcome. Right side rocks. Good job, everybody. Uh, open to fire. Rastan, open to fire. A Firefox. Doesn't even make any sense. I have opened the fire. Okay, I let's go ahead and do that as the message. I have opened to fire. I think that's it. I have opened to fire. Go yell. Feel free to uh, check out his stream. And, uh, you know, if you don't stay around too long, that's completely okay. Let's go yell at him uh, about that. Feel free to add fire emotes or emoji or anything that you want. Okay, everybody, have a good time and see you tomorrow for more Cusa Grande. Take care, Escorian. Thank you for having me. Bye, Corn Dan and Tina. Bye. Bye. Bye.